Dave, let me see the board. What's the deal with the with the front truck? So wait, so what do you do? You that's just two washers and there's not even a bushing in there anymore. No more front bushing. Mm -mm. You used to like file the front bushing down. Now there's no front bushing yeah, in there. Somebody that board. Somebody stole that board, so I don't have that anymore. It took so long to file that down. So you just put two two, two washers, washers in there. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, Let's get some of that. I want to see what this clips look like on that thing. Let's move over to this. Yeah, do it right here. Right where? Do like a do a do a rocket air right here. You like it? <laughs> oh, you like it up there? Rocket air right there. Yeah. Let's okay. do a rocket air right there, right? Sorry. Come on, I'm pro. What happened to Daniel, dude? I got him off of work, and what is he doing? Just smoking cigarettes in the parking lot? Oh, there he is. I just feel like when I see his Instagram and the stuff that he's doing, I uh -huh. feel like people are doing tricks that he's already done. Right. And now he's yeah. like, oh yeah? Now why don't I dare you to do this? I'm gonna take off my wheel. He's like, I'm gonna take my wheel off. I'm gonna kick a wheel off in the air. He did that twice, by the way. Yeah, that's crazy. Did what? Did you, when you kick the wheel off and put it back in, there's two different angles of it. Yeah. The did first you do it twice, or did you bail the first one? Might have bailed the first one. for day one to do some stuff on the ladder. Yeah, bring the ladder on. Look, how about, come on, dude, Daniel, this isn't for you to sit. What are you talking about? How about we have this like this, we have Daniel sit on it, and you do a blunt fakie on it. Yeah. If you actually yeah. blunt fakie that, I'd have to shoot a photo of that. That's pretty scary. I can shoot a photo of that with my camera. Shut up. So you think what you're doing with all this stuff and like on your Instagram? Yeah, I, yeah, I like think that I'm just, I think for me it's just more fun. Like, I'm not trying to prove anything, I'm just trying to have fun. Day, you're gonna do the blunt, and then after he does the blunt, you're gonna stale fish over it. Get over there. I can't stale fish over it. Yeah, dude, I hate you. <laughs> oh. To me, and to a lot of people, like you're one of those skaters that will forever have a place in skateboarding as somebody who like progressed skateboarding and pushed it to another level. Do you like? Do you do you ever do you ever think about that? Like you're one of those people to me. Well, thanks, Red. I mean, I never think like that though. I just think more. Just I'm just trying to skate as long as I can. All of this stuff, it's like, I, cause I know you enough to know, like, oh yeah, you're just dorking around, but it's not like. People can't do that stuff. It's not even that if they can do it or not do it, they, their mindset isn't yeah. there like that. I think kids can do, kids now can do everything. But day one, I one, one good thing though is like you said too, is it's, it's more just trying to figure out something that you haven't seen really for yourself. So like this weird hippie blunt thing too. I mean, hippie jumps, all that stuff's been around for years. I'm yeah, just trying you're, to- You're putting, you're putting pieces I'm just trying to put it. like, uh, exactly. I'm just taking like everything that's been done already and then sometimes trying to piece it together like this and who knows, there might be some kid out there did this way before, like a hippie jump blunt. But with social media, I guess you do, because back then, 90s, you'd have to wait a year and a half, two years for anything new to come out. Now it's the next 10 minutes, if you refresh your Instagram, you'll see yeah, some yeah. crazy yeah. new stuff, yeah.
I mean, I know you put all this on your Instagram for everybody to see it, but this is like, you could- It's just like fun. It's but, just a main, mainly for fun and then to give kids out there, like the ones that aren't doing it, be like, you know what, you got a ladder and you got some tranny, just go and give it a little test. People are back to skating curbs and doing this, but you're taking that to like another well, level. Well, people are back to skating curbs to enjoy that themselves, but then skating is huge too. Like they're going bigger than ever. And that, you know, that's one thing I don't, I don't go super big, which is great for me because it's like, I've stuck to such low impact, more like having fun technical, I guess, wise skating. And it's been able to give me a little longer career. What's the toughest part about being a pro skater? The toughest part, I mean, it's changed. It's, it's went through its ups and downs. Like, first off, the commitment you have to do when you when you do get on a project, you're stuck filming. I sacrifice a lot, like from 2004 to 2006, just working, working, traveling, working, working, where I didn't get as much time with my kid, you know what I mean? But that stuff happens, it's just life. Uh, another one is there are expectations. You can't just be a skateboarder if it's gonna be a career and all the companies that you do endorse and are sponsored by. They're fine with you having fun. That's good, because it's always about fun. But the thing too is that you have to progress, and then you have to, you know, you have to come through with video parts and stuff like that. And then you kind of have to try to stand out as much as you can. It changes. It's like TV series. They only last for so long, and then they have to they cancel them. So what you have to do is keep establishing a new type of TV series to, I guess, keep interest. Skateboarding though, I can't just frontside flip like a three flat three for the rest of my career. Else, there's no progression there. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. So, you know, sometimes I, can't, I don't go that route. I pick other things and then I end up doing, you know, some random things that are kind of like, well, you know, what's going on here? What you're putting up on your Instagram, do you think that's progressing your career? Yeah. Because I've been in this industry for, I mean, so long. How I've, long have you been a professional for? Uh, I think 23 plus years. My career, if you watch from the videos since 91, you've seen my skating. It's, it's changed here and there so much where at the same time, people might not like that. The fact that it changes up so much, they're like, you know, I don't, I don't keep consistent or they're like, okay, who is this guy? He's just skating ledges and tables and all this. And like, who's this guy now, you know, doing, going through ladders and all this random stuff, so. But you think people really have that attitude towards you? I don't really know. But the thing is, is I gotta stop worrying about that stuff and just, you know, when it comes down to it, I just gotta enjoy myself, right? It's, it's been, I've been in it way too long to start and worry about. But at the same time though, here I am, I'm still like, kinda like, ah, you know? It's always been normal for me to feel uncomfortable around too many people or to not want to enter contests because I get shaky and I can't do a kickflip in front of like a, a big crowd or even in front of a camera, I feel awkward and Except, you know, when you're filming, like if I'm on wheels, I feel a little more comfortable, which is just, yeah, it's my comfort zone. <laughs>